Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to look at Leo for the month of November. When I tuned in, when I opened up for this reading, what I saw was uh, almost an image of the puppet master. So somebody uh, over uh, overhead uh, actually uh, working the puppets down below and then a lot of light around that. So I feel that that image is telling me that there will be uh, illumination coming forward for some Leos in the month of November. It's almost like a, 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 a wide-eyed view uh, or a, uh, an overhead view of the uh, the big picture. So being able to see why things happen the way that they do, there's some kind of light that's going on for Leos in November, which will help them understand better what is actually going on in the ground. Um, let's have a look. We'll pull some cards for Leo. Illumination is always good. Illumination uh, is really the end of the uh, darkness. We move from the darkness toward the light, and when we're in the light, we can see very, very clearly clearly and I feel that in some way is going on for some of our Leos in November. So what's coming up for Leos in November? What's coming up for Leos in November? What's coming up for Leos in November? And I'm feeling it's time. It's the right time for this illumination to come forward. There is a change in the wind. Uh, I'm using my wisdom of the oracle and then I'm also going to the wild unknown tarot. There is a change in the wind for some Leos. This is uh, a one and a two it could be around there again around uh, those that they work with but the puppet master was pulling a lot of strings uh, seeing a lot of action on the ground so I feel that this is again uh, uh, getting an insight into where you fit in all of this um, and we've got number nine Treasure Island which has come up for one of the other signs as well uh, Treasure Island uh, this is really a gift for you uh, the gift what is the gift? The gift is the gift of insight. Uh, and it looks like you're poised in some way. Whatever's happening in November will set you up for the future. It looks as though you're poised for success. So let's uh, uh, deepen this reading. Uh, success in the future of some kind. Being able to, uh, I do feel seeing this, whatever this big picture view is for you, helps you actually set your intentions for the future. Uh, it may be you, you discover why something went down the way that it did and then how to prevent that happening again in the future. Um, in some way, as I said, it is poised, you are poised for success in some way. This, I feel in November, will have, uh, this issue will have a uh, bearing on what comes up uh, in 2020 in some way uh, for you. Uh, you'll remember. You'll remember what went on this month sometime next year and the learning that occurred or the illumination that occurred as a result. So let's have a look at uh, our tarot. Um, what's coming up for Leos in the month of November? What's coming up for Leos in the month of November? What's coming up for Leos in the month of November? Leos in the month of November. Leos in the month of November. What's coming up for Leos in the month of November? What's coming up for Leo in the month of November? Okay, so we've got relationships, we've got unconditional love, we've got family, um, the ties that bind us. Uh, again, the what does the puppet master have? The puppet master has strings. So there is a learning occurring uh, around how relationships work, around uh, the m machinery <laughs> of uh, what happens um, in relationships that actually... Uh, play out in the future. Um, so again, it's that big picture view here. Uh, and it will help you plan for the future. This is the two of wands. Um, up until now, you haven't had that bird's eye view, let's just call it that way, that. And uh, that has, a, has impacted on the future in some way. The two of wands is setting a plan for the future. So again, this, whatever's happening in November is setting you up for the future in some way. 
We've got the um, the Eight of Wands. So uh, things will come at you. I do feel this is almost like it's not a bolt out of the blue, but it is a, a set of um, circumstances or a series of revelations that will come at you quite quickly uh, and real will actually uh, uh, give you an understanding of almost how the world works. Um, because this is a karmic, whatever has led to this situation in November that you're looking down upon, that you're being illuminated uh, by, it had to happen. Uh, and it is a fundamental foundational shift for Leos. Um, I do feel with this wheel of fortune coming coming forward. Um, and again, I'm getting a focus on the reds in all of these cards, very, very strong reds here, which corresponds with the base chakra, which is our trust in the world, uh, our faith in the world, uh, and, and our place in it, basically. Um, so uh, yeah, here's the sun, here's the illumination, illumination here's the light and at the center of this is the uh is that red again the base chakra our trust in the world our place within the world and trusting that that certain things will are there for our learning but certain things actually are, are will go in our favor and that will enhance your trust in the world as well um, big picture thinking here we've got the two of pentacles and this is um you know, in November, of course, illumination doesn't just happen. Uh, you know, there is obviously an interplay uh, within this situation that you're looking down upon, that you're getting a bird's eye view of, um, and you will have to juggle this. But the promise here in this card is the metamorphosis of the uh, butterfly. And again, I'm drawn uh, to the karmic uh, situation here for you in some way what's going on uh, with this uh, interplay, I think, between people on the ground that you either work with, the family, you know, you know, it's those people um, within your life you're able to see. It's almost like the jigsaw. Uh, you get a, a view of the entire jigsaw, no pieces missing. Um, the Eight of Cups, as I said, with its corresponding with this Two of Pentacles, there is some juggling here. You might have felt like you've lost in the past, but you're leaving behind um, a situation. By getting this illumination, you're leaving behind uh, something that dragged you down in the past and you're understanding you've actually got to turn your back on it and walk away. You are getting a getting of wisdom, basically, and you're getting this wisdom um, because you're being presented presented with some, some, some sort of information that allows you to bring forward this illumination. And it actually is happiness that is likely to, this is actually you, uh, Leo, uh, the, you know, this, this uh, sun fire energy that I'm bringing forth here. Um, your, uh, whatever you're learning this month is actually allowing you to step more confidently into yourself. Um, you fear, though, that you're going to have to defend yourself. It's only a fear. Don't worry about that. Uh, you've got plenty of resources at your disposal. Um, we've got the Seven of Cups. You will have to make a choice. Uh, it will fill in November that upside is down, downside is up. There could be a little bit, confu a bit of confusion. But with this sun, it's telling me that this yeah, illumination that's coming to you is all about you making better choices, knowing when you make a bad choice and when a good choice is made. And here we've got our swan happening. Uh, there is growth for Leos in November in some way, a getting of wisdom, moving into this kingly um, energy. It is around emotions uh, as well, I feel. And we've got the three of wands. This is an expansion time for you. This illumination is expansion. Uh, and I do feel that you're growing. You, this is a growth month for you. Uh, what are you growing? You're, gro you're growing wisdom. 
you're getting in touch with yourself, you're using your intuition, uh, you are becoming a little bit more discerning in some way uh, and you understand uh, what is changing for you, you're bringing more balance into your life, you're understanding when people are not on your side, when uh, you're working out who you can trust and who you can't trust and there is this discernment, this getting of wisdom in some way coming forward for Leos this month. Um, wonderful energy. It will. Uh, you are poised for success. This whatever's occurring in November will have a um, will have a bearing uh, on uh, next year. In some way, it is this, uh, and I'm not even going to say small because I think what's going on here is quite significant for Leos. But every decision, every illumination, every uh, change that we make uh, impacts down the road and actually can uh, alter and change our course, our future. And I do feel that this is what this wisdom that Leos are getting will somehow have a positive impact on what is going to go on in 2020. So I hope you've enjoyed that, Leos. Have a wonderful month. Uh, at the end of the day, this is a potential future for you, um, uh, the Sun card, happiness, joy. And this is the energy I feel that you're moving into once you uh, have that uh, learn that uh, once that rebalancing occurs, once the discernment um, happens and once you let go of uh, an old way of doing things, you're in the box seat uh, this month, you're getting a bird's eye view of something, it's very positive. Um, so thank you Leah's.